What's up everybody, this is Royal with Paternity University. Uh, so another idea that popped in my head um, is can you make $100,000 a year from paternity testing? All right, so it's, it's some levels to that. I will start by saying that I am not a financial advisor. I'm not a business consultant. I'm not a tax professional or anything of that nature. So there are certain aspects and nuances that um, are based on your individual situation. Okay, but let's just say based on um, sales and cost of goods sold, can you make $100,000 a year in paternity testing? And so the answer is you could. Okay, I cannot guarantee that you will. I won't say that you won't, but you could. So to bring in $100,000, all right, uh, to yourself, uh, paid to yourself, um, or at least before taxes, I would say that you would need to at least do about $250,000 to $300,000 in sales just from your paternity testing, okay? Because um, there is the, the laboratory takes a cut, all right? That cut may be about 50 to 70 or so percent of each of your sale based on the test that you're selling. So for example, if you're selling a uh, court admissible paternity test for $349 uh, and the laboratory charges you 150, for example, okay, your profit before taxes uh, is about $200 or so, okay? And so you, you, know, you do the math to determine um, the exact percentage of, of your cost of goods sold. That's that percentage right there in between of how much it costs you um, to run that test. And you'd have to determine that. Uh, so, so based on that, you need to do about $250,000 to $300,000 in sales to add a little bit of fluff on top of that to eventually get to yourself to $100,000. And that's before taxes. And like I said, I'm not an accountant. I'm not a tax professional, so I can't give you the exact numbers of what you need. It all varies on your personal situation, the state you live in, state taxes, all that, all that stuff. All right. So please consult a professional on that one. But to bring in a hundred thousand to yourself, you need to do about double or a little bit 2.5 or three times that amount in sales. Now, how do you do that? How do you get to that point? So ideally, you'd want to have multiple locations. Um, and by locations, I mean either separate offices in different areas, uh, different states, different cities, or different Google business, you know, verify Google business profiles um, to where you can essentially generate leads, you know, get as many calls as you can. Because to get to that point, to get to that point where you're doing $300,000 a year in sales, you need to get as many incoming calls as possible, as many incoming calls as possible. So that's multiple locations. That is consistent marketing in multiple areas um, to get those consumers. Now, that's on the on the business to consumer side. OK, that is on the business to consumer. That means that you are marketing to the people that call you and need it. Now, what about attorneys? What about governments? Um, that will also add a way to get to that hundred thousand dollars a year to your self mark is adding other sales channels, all right? So attorney referrals, uh, local city governments that need paternity testing services fulfilled. That is how you would get to that point of 100,000 yourself. So I'm not saying that it can't be done. I'm not saying that it you will do it. You know, everybody who watches this video will do it, but it's gonna take a lot of work. Um, it takes a lot of time, a lot of marketing, and it takes scale. It takes scale and it takes fulfilling the service. It takes logistics. You have to think on, on a level, but I would say, my advice would be to first master your city first, master your area first, get very good at your area, know who, you know, what, what people are willing to pay for and what they're not willing to pay for. Um, know the sales psychology, know your market, know the attorneys, know the judges, know the court system, know everything in your area before you try to scale up and open up 17 more locations that don't perform well because you don't know those markets. Trust me, I tried to do the same thing before. So those are things to consider uh, if you're trying to get to that hundred thousand dollars a year mark. Remember, I'm not, you know, a, a tax attorney. I'm not a, you know, business, you know, uh, advisor, you know, a business consultant or anything of that nature. I'm just saying this is how I envision how you would get to that point. OK, I can't guarantee that you will. I will not say that you won't, but just want to give out those disclaimers. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Thank you all so 